This is the first video in the math mode series A equals 2A. So what I'd like to do in this series of videos is look at some really brief puzzles and topics in math. Stuff that can seem sort of deceiving and tricky at first, but that usually has a fairly straightforward explanation when looked at a bit more closely. So in this first video, I'd like to talk about a purposefully erroneous proof offered by Boris Kordemsky in his puzzle book, a proof designed to warn of the danger of violating one of the most rudimentary rules in algebra. So here goes. Step one, let a equal b. Next, multiply both sides of this equation by a so that a squared equals ab. Step three, subtract b squared from both sides of the equation so that you're left with a squared minus b squared is equal to ab minus b squared. Next, factor the left-hand side of the equation, a squared minus b squared, to arrive at a minus b times the quantity a plus b. Factor the right-hand side of the equation so that you're left with b times the quantity a minus b. Step 5. Divide both sides of the equation in step 4 by the quantity a minus b. Canceling out, we're left with the equation a plus b is equal to b. Substituting in a for b, we're left with the equality expression a equals 2a. Well, that conclusion can't possibly be right. So let's go back and look at step 5, the penultimate step in this proof, in which we divide both sides of the equation by the expression a minus b. But then looking back at step 1, we've let a equal b, which in turn means that a minus b is equal to 0 which in effect means that when we divide the equation by a minus b in step 5, we're actually illegally dividing by 0 because a minus b is equal to 0 as we've defined it. And that's why we're arriving at such a wonky conclusion. So essentially, Mr. Kordemsky offers this proof as just one example of many of the ridiculous things that can happen when one violates this ultimate theory of divisibility, division by 0. Well, hope you enjoyed and thanks for listening.